Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Can you believe it? <laughs> Here we are, another episode of Business Partner Trivia. Tonight's contestants just celebrated their 10-year anniversary as business partners. You know them, you love them. Let's invite co-presidents of MS Interactive to the stage, Ray Mena and Deba Sayin. Give it up. All right. Here's uh, here's Mike. You're, no. you're, you're going to be fired tomorrow. Yes. Uh, let me also have my assistant get you your answers. Uh, because much like our sister show, The Newlywed Game, we asked each of our contestants a series of questions, and their job is to tell us how their partner answered. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. Yeah! Yes. Okay, so, hang on a second. We're going to give them their cards. These go to death. Don't show them the answers. Can I look at them? You can. These go to Ray. Okay, so I think they're ready, I'm ready. Are you ready? The first question is for you, Ray. You met Deb at an industry conference all the way back in the mid-90s. Did I? No, I don't think so. They aren't. They aren't. Um, <coughs> so, <laughs> so, Ray... Who did Deb say was the person that first introduced the two of you? You can give him the mic. Doyle Rose. I'm sorry, say it again. Doyle Rose. Deb? Or Chuck Hillier. <laughs> or Chuck Hillier. Chuck Hillier. Who was it? Show us, show us the answer. That's the answer that you gave. I gave you. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> okay, clearly... Um, oh! We had a little bit of a mix-up. Yes, it was Val Mackey. According to Deb, who wrote this down and gave it to us as an answer. Long diet Yes, uh, Val Mackey, back in the mid '90s. So that was answer wrong, uh, one, and it was wrong. Yes. All right. So the bad news is that was your one easy answer. <clears throat> Uh, okay, here we go. So, Deb, what did Ray say was his first impression of you? It's not going to be on your cards. You've got to guess what he said. You, yeah, see, see, the way it works is, we asked you both questions. You have to guess what he answered. No, 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 no. No, you can't show him. You can't show him. All right. Play by the rules. Yeah. Here we go. Deb, what did Ray say yeah. was his first impression of you? When you first met back in the mid 90s, introduced by Val Mackey. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was Chuck Hillier who was in his office and he probably. In the fall of 2000. Okay. He said, Oh my God. <laughs> That's what he said. Oh my God. Ray, what did you say? He said, I liked her right away. Aww. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. Her favorite catchphrase was, let's think about this differently. Yeah. Also on that list was, death by a thousand cuts. We don't know what we don't know. And here's the deal. Everybody's heard probably all of those of these ones. That was a hard question to answer. I know. So many, right? There were so many. Okay. All right, here's a curveball. Curveball. Deb... What are the names of Ray's three daughters? Oh, that's easy. Kylie, Catherine, and um, the other one who's really bad, Laura. Yes! <laughs> well done. Well done. Well, I follow them on Facebook, but I love it when they change their status to in a relationship or married, and I'm like, he's going crazy. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. Okay, so now Ray. What are the names of Deb's three cats? <laughs> Come on. Caesar Augustus. Tigger. Tigger. All right. And a rose. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Well done. 
true, true business partners. Um, Ray, here's another one for you. When did Deb say MS Interactive became more than a hobby? More than a hobby. When did MS Interactive become more than a hobby? It was an age old saying way back when? 2003. Can we get a little more specific? <laughs> Some time of 2000. <laughs> uh, well, uh, what would you say was the time that, that Interactive became more than just a hobby? No hints, Dad. Three months into our first fiscal year. Wow! Ladies and gentlemen, what's the answer? Whoa. Three months into our first year when we turned a profit. This man knows his business. What did Ray say is MS Interactive's biggest success? I think he would say that we hire great people. Well, Ray, what did you say? What is MS Interactive's biggest success? The many talented folks we've attracted to this company. That includes everyone in this room. And their spouses and significant others. That's right. We, we couldn't do it without them. We wouldn't even have this PA system if I wasn't married to a woman who DJs weddings on the weekends. Okay.